when you look at Luke, Luke 12.59 and Matthew 5.26, they say, you're not getting out of here until you pay the very last farthing, the very last penny. The other way to think about it, considering that this phrase is in Luke but not Mark, is that Carpocrates was a synthesis. He was trying to synthesize Cerinthus and the Ebionites. This was his attempt to do it, and he invoked magic and other things like that to do that, which I think magic is probably a pretty big part of a lot of these groups, considering all the references to magic. I think that these messiah cults were big in the magic, you know, like uh, Josephus describes Theudas, who I think is the person underlying John the Baptist. And he calls him a magician, too. So Simon Magus was a magician, Simon the Magician. And he's referenced, um, or he came from, I think, uh, Antiquities, uh, Josephus' Antiquities, where he's a magician. But if this is true, that Carpocrates was some kind of synthesis between Cerinthus and the Ebionites, then what that would imply is that the Ebionites were much more mystical than we might be inclined to think, you know, what's kind of remembered about them as this Jewish group who believes in a human Jesus. They were much more concerned with this mystical stuff. You know, in that sense, they probably read Revelation too.